Hey everyone, have a few minutes to get in the garage today while mama and baby girl are at the salon getting their fingers and their toes done. So we're gonna talk about pressurizing your air box and running forced air if you don't wanna enclose all of the carburetor. This can be used with your OEMs, with a jet kit, or you can put in the FCRs or the MJNs. It just makes fitment and some modifications. All right, stay tuned. Please like and subscribe, it helps me grow. I'm not trying to do this for money. Just want to stay motivated to keep making stuff for you. Please comment below and some things you would like to see me do. I'm working on a step-by-step -step clutch in the future. I'll see you next. All right, so here's the AirTech airbox that you can purchase for these Ws. And I had to put in my own Zeus fastener positions. And if you look right there, that spot is because I'm running the, the key and FCR carburetors. I had to drill a hole and then form it to fit right there behind the alternator. That's where your mechanical fuel pump is for the FCRs. So other than that, I think CVs will fit in there no problem. So your OEM carbs would fit in there no problem. And here's what it looks like on the bottom. So you can tell when you put it in there, it sits right in that gap behind the alternator for that fuel pump. Yeah, I know my, my fiberglass work is terrible. Now, the lid here, that used to go here, is the one that had the dual snor snorkels going out like that. And then I did away with that, and then I just custom up my own top here so it would fit easily under the gas tank without any modifications. And then I run my cables through there. I run my fuel hose through there. And then if you want, you can get some foam from AirTech, Streamline, or um, Master McCar, somewhere like that, and just make sure it's flammable safe. Boom, stuff it in and kind of you know, does the best you can to make it into a forced uh, air box. All right, we'll go on to the next one. All right, so here's my current setup. This is from one of the AirTex pressurized air boxes that I modified with some curved PVC. So I just cut a hole, stuck it through, epoxied it in, and I'm using that new hose I'm talking about. And it's gonna go up to where I've modified an OEM fairing. AirTech makes uh, an air kit and a race fairing. So you can modify and get their kit to do your OEMs, to do like I'm doing with an OEM front. As you can tell and then they have a race kit that already has those intakes on there i'm not running the full air box right now because when you do it's really difficult to get the carburetors on and off so right now i'm testing tuning and then i'll see about putting that pressurized box back on but here's my hose setup give you a look down it is nice and smooth in there i don't know if you can tell all right and I'm just attaching that with some industrial strength Velcro. I'm going to give you a look here on the other side. When installed. All right, we'll go to the next clip here in a second. All right, here's the hoses I've been running for the pressurized air box, or just if you guys are running more fresh air to your carburetors is something that you can use. Now, if you go with a pressurized air box off of AirTech, this is the hose that they will sell you. You can also pick uh, any of these hoses up from Master McCarr, and I'll put links in the description below. But here, it's wire bound. It is smooth on the inside. I don't know if you can tell. So it's lined. But over time, it frays, and when you have to cut the fit, the wire will start poking through. So then when I, it led me to trying to just duct tape and keep it from fraying, keeping wire from poking through and sticking me when I don't want it to. And then I just discovered this hose off of Master McCarr and took a chance on it. It's two and a half inch ID like the other ones. 
Seems to be very uh, pliable, holds up, I think, to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can squeeze it and it comes back. It seems to hold its form pretty well. So if you notice on the AirTech, some of the different air boxes, and I'm gonna show you my air box uh, here in a second. So those are your choices. I'll put the links in down below. So far, I'm and really enjoying this hose. I'm gonna cut and uh, show you some other pictures here in a second. All right, here it is all mounted up. And uh, you see where it gets squeezed just a little bit around that engine brace. But AirTech and Yosh actually made one that was a uh, carbon fiber and some of fiberglass that actually did the same kind of thing. They narrowed right through that pass and then they made other ones that actually went through the opening. And then later on, this brace was uh, curved out and that was uh, from Yosh. Let's take a look at the other side. Here's the other side. Same deal. You can tell this side got crashed once before. It's kind of rashed up. But I gotta say, I'm happy with the way it looks and the fitment.